You got a creative block? Yeah, me too. Let's talk about that. Wrong intro, sorry. Cue the real one. What's up guys, my name is Dax Brule, and in my three years in the creative industry, I've been through a lot of ups and downs. I'm gonna talk to you guys today about how I stay most of the time creative and push through creative blocks. Let's do it. Tip number one for you guys is to go search for inspiration. Sometimes you just, you know, inspiration won't come to you, so you gotta go out and search it. I like to go to websites like Instagram, you know, Facebook, Behance, Vimeo, all these different creative websites where these content creators share their work is a good place to find inspiration yourself. Most things in the creative industry is, is, is a seed from another piece of content you see this thing you're like oh i want to try that let me just put my own spin on it it's not copying making it better it's improving that type of piece of content in your own fashion one tip i'll give you guys is to try to go to those websites that not a lot of people go to if you're a seasonal youtube watcher and you watch all these content creators on youtube switch it up and go to vimeo start watching content on vimeo because the thing about vimeo is the content creators are totally different so you could learn a thing or two or get inspired by a thing or two that you've never ever seen before that's why like i don't always recommend to just go to the instagram explore page and just scroll through there because there's a point where you've seen all the stuff you know the style you know what to expect so maybe switch it up go to facebook maybe switch it up go to uh, twitter maybe switch it up just go to behance behance is a completely different type of content creator and it's inspiration website sometimes you just got to go out and go to these social media websites go online and just find stuff google images is a good way for inspiration search cow and you can find all different ways people have created cow content you know what i mean so sometimes you just got to go out and look for it number two maybe you're pushing yourself a little too hard maybe you've been creating for a little too long it's time to escape so escapism is actually my second tip for you guys and i found myself the most creative after coming off a long break a short break even short breaks because your mind gets flooded with all the stuff gets filled up with oh i gotta create content oh i gotta do this oh i gotta do that oh i gotta make sure i'm always stepping up the game so being able to step away from that and take a little break is super important i'd like to do things like play video games watch movies go for runs go for walks hang out with friends all this stuff will not only sprout your brain give it a rest but it'll also influence new ideas while you're doing this stuff while while you're watching a movie, enjoying a movie, you might see something in the movie you enjoy. While you're talking to a friend, they might throw an idea or two at you that gives you inspiration to start a new project, a new you know writing project, photography project, art project, whatever your content creation might be, take a step back. Number three, kind of on the subject of escapism is sleep. Sleep is super important. I read a book recently, The Sleep Revolution, and this changed my app, my view on sleep because sleep, if you don't get enough sleep, it's like you're living your life drunk. It's like you're going to work drunk. All these people are like, oh, I'm an entrepreneur. I can live on four or five hours of sleep. Dude, you're literally doing your job while you're drunk because there's more accidents in Canada or in the world caused by sleep. Drowsy driving is what they call it. than drunk driving, it's insane. People always overlook sleep. You need your sleep if you want to be creative your mind can't be creative if you don't get enough sleep that is recommended seven to eight hours of sleep for most people nine if you can i i would love to do nine right now i'm doing eight I, I might push it to nine because it's just so nice to get to feel refreshed in the morning feel ready to go and i'm always way more creative in the morning when i have a good night's sleep now flipping the switch sometimes you just gotta start you know you've been not creating for a while or you can't create something sometimes inspiration comes with creating itself you're creating something you're like oh i have another idea let me add on let me add on let me add on i've heard stories from the top writers in the world that they pride themselves to write a hundred words a day or sorry a thousand words a day if they don't write a thousand words a day then they fail the day you start and even if you don't want to write a thousand words a day they still start and once they hit like that 300 200 300 word count you get inspiration inspiration comes to them and i find that the same with my video and photography projects i don't want to do it at the start but then once i start rolling i'm like oh i got an idea here oh i got an idea here oh i'm creative let me do this let me do that and it just comes to you sometimes you just got to put force yourself to start and start pushing out creative content because that's where all the inspiration will come from at the end of the day nothing can be perfect right off the bat the only way something is actually perfect is when it is released and then improved and that's what creating will do to you if you release something or you start creating something it'll be able to be improved instead of trying to get it perfect right off the start sometimes it's a long process but the creator you just got to keep pushing and force yourself to start now getting into a more spiritual kind of inspiration is revisiting your why this is a very important thing for all people in the world is why are you doing what you're doing what is the purpose why am i creating this youtube video right now why am i wearing this hat right now actually i'm going to take this hat off because it's kind of itching my head i just really just want to find an excuse to take off the hat sometimes you need to take a step back and look at your life and say why what's the point what am i doing why do i why am i working at this job why am i you know what's the whole purpose of it if there's no why there's no fuel to the fire there's no reason why you should be doing that and there's no 
reason for you to be creative. So sometimes it's just, it's a matter of fact of just sitting down for 30 minutes and rethinking what is the whole purpose of this. And sometimes that can spread inspiration and in giving you motivation to push through and keep creating content, which goes back to that second, that second point I made about just forcing yourself to start and, and being creative will come with the flow. Rethinking questions like who am I? What's my dream? Who do I want to help? Can prompt many ideas for creatives has done myself in the past. Every time before I start planning videos, I'm like, why am I doing this? What's the purpose of this? And I get plenty of ideas and I get super inspired and motivated to do the content I'm creating. Finally, last tip and oh, the most important tip of all is just look around and enjoy your life. Life is beautiful. There's a full, Gary V. Gary V quoted this 400 trillion to one chance of being a human. If you really just put that into perspective and think about that, it's amazing. So although you might be in a creative block and although it might suck, the world is beautiful. Don't force yourself too hard on saying, I have to create, 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 create. Take a step back, relax a bit. The most beautiful things come when you don't force it on yourself. You just let the world lay it onto you. And sometimes that's all it takes. You just got to take a break. How thankful we should all be about the opportunity we've been given in this creative world. I am so thankful every single day. I think I'm going to start praying because it's actually insane. 400 trillion to one. Just think of that number. I don't even think there's that many blades of grass on the planet. Honestly, don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. The times I'm most creative is usually after a long break. And sometimes you just got to do that. Take a step back. Enjoy life a bit. You know, go on a vacation. Maybe not go on a vacation. Maybe just spend four days playing video games because that's what makes you happy. You know, enjoy life because that's the best tip I can give for all you creators is just that life is beautiful. And like, we should not be overstressing our art just because, you know, we need to work. So I hope you guys know that video question of the day for you guys. Are you guys in a creative block right now? Let me know in the comments section below and let me know if any of these tips will help you guys get out of that creative block. My name is Dax Brule. Thanks for watching this video. Gently tap that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I got new videos coming out every single week. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every single time I drop a new video. I have a new schedule, by the way, guys. They're going to be coming out every single Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. New videos every single one of those days. So stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Creators, keep creating. Peace.